Canada simply wasn't ready for the pandemic. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. It's not just me that's saying the federal government wasn't prepared to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. It's now an audit by the Auditor General of Canada looking at various ways that the agency responsible for dealing with pandemics failed. You know, look at this big report in the Globe and Mail that shows that they didn't update their risk assessment from February 2nd to February 28th. That means that the whole time that they were telling you the risk to Canada was low, something they continued to do into the middle of March, well, the risk was actually changing and they weren't looking at the growth of cases. They weren't looking at the potential growth of cases. They were looking at the situation as it stands right now, not the scary modeling that they're doing to us at this point. Here's another example how they were not ready after they finally introduced the quarantine order on March 25th which is about six weeks after the World Health Organization started talking about the need for quarantine measures to be implemented, uh, the Public Health Agency of Canada and Canada Border Services did not do a good job on following up. Check out this chart from the audit. It says, from May 5th to June 30th, 60% of tra all travelers received at least one call to verify compliance with mandatory quarantine. But only 54% of them were verified as complying with quarantine while 46% were either not compliant or not reached by the agency. That's 45% they didn't get a hold of. Only 40% of those found to be not compliant were referred to law enforcement, and they had no way to follow up and find out what law enforcement did. How many of the cases that we had come into Canada, that we had spread across the country, resulted from shoddy quarantine measures? Now, some of us started calling for better border screening and quarantine as early as January 27th. That would be two days after the first case was reported and the day the first case here in Toronto was confirmed by public health authorities. That's the first day that one of my columns showed that very thing. But back in those days, we were called all kinds of names. We were told that border screening or restrictions or quarantine were not necessary. In fact, it was counterproductive. Uh, early analysis shows that the places that shut down borders sooner did better. The places that screened effectively performed better. We could have done all this. It was part of pandemic planning had we listened to the plans that had been developed over several years, but we didn't. Unfortunately, in Canada, both at the federal and oftentimes the provincial level, it seemed to be the attitude was, let's wing it. Let's forget about decades of planning since we went through SARS and let's make it up as we go along. And unfortunately, that's where we still are. Our results are not the worst in the world, far from it, but they're not as good as they could have been. And while that may sound like an academic exercise of saying, well, we could have done better here or there, it also means lives lost, it means businesses crushed, it means opportunities missed. All of that continues to haunt us here in Canada and will until we're through this pandemic with or without the vaccines slowly arriving on our shores.